welcome to Kids Academy. Hello boys and girls, it's Teacher Mike here. And today we're going to be looking at a worksheet that asks us to subtract using base 10 blocks. Let's read the directions and get started right away. And I'll show you a few cool strategies as we work on the worksheet. Which is correct. Look at the subtraction models with base 10 blocks. The blocks that are taken away are crossed out. Check the number sentences that match the models. Okay, so let's look at the first problem. I see the base 10 blocks look something like this. I see two longs and four cubes. What does that look like in number form? Well, let's make a place value chart. We have, we have the place of the tens and the place of the ones. So, how many tens are there? Well, longs, otherwise known as tens, there's one, two. So we'll put a two in the tens place. And there's one, two, three, four ones. So our number, our starting number, is 24. Now, how many numbers, or how many cubes, are we taking away? How many are crossed out? Well, in this problem, one long, or one ten, is crossed out. So we can put our ten in our place value chart, one ten, with a zero in the ones place, and also put minus 10 in our equation. Now before we even subtract, we can see if we know the right answer by taking a look at our answer choices. The first answer choice says 24 minus 10 equals 14. That looks pretty good because it has the 24 and the 10. The other answer choice has 22 minus 14. That doesn't look so good because we don't have 22 or 14 in our number sentence. Let's subtract 24 minus 10 to double check our work and make sure we have the correct number sentence. Four minus zero is just four because you're taking nothing away. And two minus one is one, giving us a total of 14. So we know the correct number sentence is 24 minus 10 equals 14, our first answer choice. Let's take a look at the next problem. In the next problem, we have one, two, three longs, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes. Do you know what that number looks like? Well, we have one, one, two, three longs, which really is like a three in the tens place. So let's put a three where the tens would be. And we have eight cubes. So we could put an eight in the ones place, giving us a total of 38. Sometimes you don't even need a place value chart. Now, how many are we taking away? How many cubes have been crossed out? Well, we can see that there's five cubes crossed out. So we want to take away five from 38. Well, that's easy when you line up the numbers and put the numbers in their right place. Because we have five ones, we, took away, we put five in the ones place, and now we're going to take those five away. We'll count backwards from eight, five places. Eight, seven, six, five, four, and three. 8 minus 5 is 3, and 3 minus nothing is 3. So we know our number sentence should read 38 minus 5 equals 33. Let's see which answer choice is correct. It's the second answer choice. 38 minus 5 equals 33. Let's take a look at the next problem. In our next problem, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 longs, otherwise known as 50, so we can go ahead and put a five in the tens place. And there are one, two, three cubes. So we can go ahead and put a three in the ones place. So we have a starting number of 53. Just by looking at our two answer choices, I kind of already know my second answer choice is going to be correct because it has the number 53 in it. But let's see how many we're going to take away and see if our answer choice matches. Well, there are two tens that are crossed out which means we're taking away t at least 20. And there's also one cube crossed out. So we are taking away one, which means in total we're taking away 21. Well, that matches our answer choice so far, 53 minus 21. Now let's do the subtraction and see if it matches. Three minus one is two. And five minus two is three. And again, that matches perfectly. So our correct answer choice or number sentence is 53 minus 21 equals 32. Let's go ahead and check the correct box. 
The problem on the bottom has purple blocks. Let's count them together. I see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven longs, or seven tens, giving us 70, or seven in the tens place, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes, giving us an eight in the ones place, making our total number of blocks 78. Well, how many are crossed out? I see that there are five tens crossed out. So we're gonna be taking away at least 50, so we could put a five in the tens place. How many cubes are crossed out? Well, there are four cubes crossed out. So we can go ahead and put a four in the ones place, making the total number of cubes that we're taking away 54. Do you see an answer choice that matches this so far? Let's look at the bottom. 78 minus 54 equals 24. Let's see if when we subtract these two numbers, we get 24. 8 minus 4, if you count backwards from 8, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, is 4. And 7 minus 5 is 2. Making the correct answer choice, the one on the bottom, 78 minus 54 equals 24. Let's take a look at our last problem in yellow on the right. Let's count the number of tens. I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 tens, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ones. Do you know what number that is? Well, if there are nine tens, I know that's equal to 90. We can go ahead and put a nine in the tens place. And there's also six cubes, which really just represents six. So we could put a six in the ones place, making our total 96. Let's see how many cubes are crossed out. In this problem, there are three tens that are crossed out. There are also all six ones crossed out. Do you know how many we just crossed out? Well, we are taking away three tens, which equals 30. So we can put a three in the tens place. We're also taking away six cubes. So we can go ahead and put a six in the ones place. So our number sentence should read 96 minus 36. Let's see if there's an answer choice that matches this. I see the top answer choice is 96 minus 36. Let's see if when we subtract these two numbers, we get 60. 6 minus 6 is 0, and 9 minus 3, counting back from 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, is 60. So we know that our top answer choice, 96 minus 36, is correct. Remember, boys and girls, when you're just subtracting with base 10 blocks, count the blocks all together, and then count the blocks that are crossed out to see how many you're taking away. Thanks for watching, boys and girls, and we'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.